Hi everyone, this is Dr. Stefan. Welcome to Interstitial Lung Disease Info. In this one, we talk about when uh, someone has pulmonary fibrosis that is considered to be progressive. Sometimes they may get a lung function test that actually goes up. It goes to better numbers. And people sometimes can be left a bit confused by whether this is something to be happy about or was it just some kind of a fake hope or something like that. So let me read you this comment because I think it's it's an important two ones that I'd like to maybe just make a short comment about. So Dr. Stefan, can you make sense of a IPF test where I scored a 0.7 liter increase over my last test? That amounts to almost a 25% increase over the previ previous test. The pe person reading my test was scratching her head as I have a type of familial pulmonary fibrosis and it seems from this test I have improved. Is that possible? So, <coughs> apologies for that. So basically, um, lung function testing is interesting. <laughs> and please, always, when you get a result from a spirometry or some other kind of breathing test that you're doing, do talk to your doctor about it so they can interpret it in the right context for you. Because there can be a lot of nuances. So first of all, it I've seen this before as well. So in, in some cases, patients who have worsening lung function and worsening pulmonary fibrosis over time will sometimes you know have a steady sort of decline over time which is to be expected in those conditions but suddenly they get a little bit of a different uh, way so the trend goes up for a while and that can be a, a complex there can be a lot of reasons for that first of all it could be that the test that you were doing before especially if you didn't do too many tests you weren't doing your best and that's the simplest explanation and then suddenly you started getting better at doing the breathing tests and you suddenly get a much higher measurement because you're synchronizing better with the technician, with the machine uh, that's measuring the volume of air. And you're basically just measuring the volume of air that goes in and out of your lungs. So that can obviously increase based on how much air you blow in and out. So that's the simplest explanation. Doesn't mean that necessarily the condition is improving. However, there may be, under this great scope of uh, interstitial lung diseases, situations in which treatment works and treatment improves lung function, especially when there is an inflammatory component to the interstitial lung disease associated with the pulmonary fibrosis or the lung scarring. You can sometimes be on some treatments that actually improve your breathing tests because the inflammation goes down in the lungs, the lungs are no longer as hard, and your lung capacity can increase. So that can also happen, and it's not absolutely abnormal. That is indeed good news. But as you can see, it depends on the situation. I would say that there's also variability in the testing. So the numbers, you have to, to interpret them in the greater context. So when you measure a volume of air that you breathe in and out of the lungs, you can imagine each breath is relatively different. And on each day, you will do a little bit different on the test. So there can be a, maybe a 5 to 10% variability for from test to test in the values that you measure. And that's absolutely within normal range. But we tend to need longer periods of follow-up to understand the trend. So in my practice, for example, when I see that one of my patients, for example, has a much lower result on a breathing test, if it doesn't fit with their symptoms, it's probably a test that I would disregard or repeat. So this is just something that I would, I would, I would do personally. Let's repeat it and make sure that what we are getting in the numbers is actually the real deal. It could also be a technical error on the machine. It could be a number of things. But generally, when we are talking about progressive pulmonary fibrosis, so lung scarring of the lungs that is getting worse over time, we don't generally anticipate an increase in the breathing uh, capacity. So sometimes we do see that, especially this has been a bit of a surprise that in some cases there have been uh, descriptions that people who are on anti-scarring medication or anti-fibrotic medication do sometimes get a little bit of a boost in their lung function. This is something that's been presented in the recent conferences. We don't entirely understand why that happens and it is indeed good news if that is the case and it does point to some benefits to anti-scarring medication that we didn't anticipate because they are not really anticipated to improve the condition but rather to slow down the decline. But obviously, you know, I would take an increase in the breathing test as good news in the first instance, but then talk to the doctor, to the healthcare team who knows your case very well and understand why that may be.
whether it's something to do with the medication that you're taking, is this a response, a positive response to the medication that you're on, or is it potentially some kind of a technical error on the previous test that has led to you doing a better test this time? So something is probably going on. But in most situations, I would just continue repeating the breathing tests, you know, maybe every three to six to 12 months, just to see which way things are going, depending on the local practices in where you live. Uh, I hope this clarifies this uh, a little bit and if you have further questions do leave them in the comment section below and I'll uh, see you in future videos. All the best.